Hello, um, this video is about plotting a histogram for group data with unequal intervals. Okay, in this example, they are talking about 500 eggs um, with different masses, okay, and they were then grouped into five groups, which is small, medium, standard, large, extra large. Okay, the mass of a small is from 35 to 40 gram. The mass of a medium egg is from 40 to 50 gram. So now immediately you should see that this class interval is 5 and this class interval is 10, which means it is unequal intervals. Okay, now remember when we have unequal intervals, we then plot towards or over your frequency density okay no more your frequency and the frequency density we calculate by dividing frequency with the class width okay so they're giving you the frequency now obviously we must still get the frequency density okay so firstly determine your class width for each group okay this is 10 then from 50 to 60 is 10 from 60 to 75 is 15 and so forth then you calculate your frequency density 20 your frequency divide by your class width which gives you 4 or 60 divide by 10 which gives me 6 and so forth now remember when you um, plot a histogram you then have to plot your class width, which will be represented on your x-axis, um, and on your y-axis, you will have to uh, plot your frequency density. But this video is going to concentrate on the following, and that is your scales. They say use a scale of 2 cm to represent 5 grams on the x-axis, and an area scale, take note, an area scale of one square centimeter representing 5x. People, this is not your y-axis, okay? Remember, when we have unequal intervals, because we have the frequency density on your y-axis the area of the bars let me just show you what it would look like the area of the bars are the ones that need to be in proportion okay or that will be in proportion so that's why in this case they give you the x-axis scale and they give you the area scale all right so let's look at this just in summary the scale that is given for the x-axis is 2 cm representing 5 gram. Then the area scale that is given is 1 square centimeter representing 5x. So what you really need to find out is what is the scale on your y-axis. Okay, And for that I have done the following drawings with color again because I just simply think that this is going to make it more clear. Okay, on your x-axis, people, the scale is 2 cm representing 5 grams. Now we want to find out how much is 1 cm. So 1 cm represents 2.5 grams. You simply divide each side by 2, okay? So on your x-axis is 1 centimeter representing 2.5 gram. Okay, if you once again look at the values of your x-axis, then you must have from 35 to 80. Okay, important, from 35 to 80. The first group has a class width of 5. Okay, so go to your x-axis. 5 um, uh, 5 gram is represented by 2 centimeters. So really 
if this is your x-axis and you have zero, okay, you must have one centimeter being 2.5, okay, so this is 2.5. Another centimeter is 5 because it's 2.5 more, no? Remember, each of these gaps is 2.5. Another one centimeter will give you 7.5, okay, and so forth. But we first need 35, so therefore we are going to have what we call the sort of heartbeat sign, okay, and then we are going to start with 35. All right, now the x-axis is not really a problem, people. I always suggest that if it is not given in a one centimeter scale, then work it out for a one centimeter scale, okay? And then on your x-axis, mark each centimeter, okay? And for each centimeter, you add 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, okay? That's your x-axis. All right. Now we need to find the y-axis scale, people. You don't have it. I emphasize we have an area scale. Okay? And they tell you that the area scale is 1 square centimeter representing 5x. Okay. I find it easiest to make yourself a drawing of the area. The area is a one square centimeter, okay? Which simply means, people, on your x-axis, you have one centimeter, and on your y-axis, you have one centimeter, okay? And if you now multiply the length times the breadth, the length times the breadth, then you have one times one, that gives you a one square centimeter. That's the area scale. But now remember, people, that that one square centimeter represents 5x, okay? Now, if we go and look at the y-axis, remember now from this, people, we've got the area, which is the y-axis times the x-axis, okay? We have got a one square centimeter, so... Your area is one square centimeter. Then your y-axis is one centimeter and your x-axis is one centimeter. Are you with me? Okay, that is common sense, people. Your area is one square centimeter. Then your y-axis and your x-axis must each be one centimeter. But now also your area is given as 5x, isn't it? Okay. Your y-axis is what we want to calculate, okay, which is now named the length, but you can just simply make that a question mark. And on your x-axis, okay, on your x-axis, for one centimeter, okay, you have 2.5 gram. It's really important that this is one square centimeter, which is 5 gram. So therefore, for 1 centimeter, you must now have 2.5 gram. Okay. And to then calculate your length, or in this case, your y-axis, you just simply do goros or o. Take over the 2.5, which is 5 divided by 2.5, which gives you 2. So on your y-axis, okay, each centimeter represents two. Do you get it? On your y-axis, each centimeter represents two, okay? One centimeter represents two. And remember, this two is the representation of your frequency density because it is your y-axis. So if we now go to the graph, Okay, look there, there's one centimeter, which is two. Another centimeter is two more, which gives me four. Another centimeter is two more, which is six. Okay, so I repeat. From your area scale, people, 
draw the area that they give you. It's a one square centimeter. A one square centimeter area is one centimeter by one centimeter, okay? Remember, this is the horizontal, so this represents your x-axis. This is the vertical, it represents your y-axis, or in this case, your frequency density, okay? Then, for the area, which is also 5x, you've got length times breadth. But, people, we have already worked out that on the x-axis, 1 centimeter represents 2.5 gram. This comes from that scale, okay? Represents uh, 2.5 gram. So, write down your formula for the area. Your area is the y times the x value, okay? Your area given is 1 square centimeter, which means the y-axis is 1 centimeter and the x-axis is 1 centimeter. Because 1 times 1 gives me 1 square centimeter. Are you with me? All right. But now for the 5x, okay, they tell you that the area is 5x. So instead of area, you put your 5x, okay? Then the length or the y is a question mark because that is what we want to calculate. We want to calculate the y-axis, right? And then the x value we get from the x scale, okay? Which is 2.5 centimeters, oh, I'm sorry, 2.5 gram for one centimeter. Very important, one centimeter represents 2.5 gram, okay? One centimeter represents 2.5 gram, all right? And then you do koros, oh, oh, then you get the value on the y-axis. For how much is that two people? For what you've got there, the one centimeter. Okay, so what did we calculate? We calculated that on the y-axis, one centimeter represents a frequency density of two.